Hello, welcome back. Today I'm back at the Fairmount Cemetery in Denver, Colorado. We're going to be visiting the grave of Mary Cronin, the first woman to climb all 53 Colorado 14ers. So follow me. I'm going to tell you about her story as we go look for her grave. Mary Cronin was born in Denver on April 1st, 1893. Her family stayed in Denver during most of the 1890s, but in 1900, they were living in the mining town of Victor, where her father Daniel worked as a day laborer. By 1905, they were back in Denver, living in Capitol Hill, but by the end of the decade, Daniel was institutionalized at Denver County Hospital. He was later moved to the state hospital in Pueblo, where he died in 1928. Mary finished school around 1909, the year she turned 16, and soon found work as an accounting clerk for Western Union. She lived with her mother for the next few years, but was living on her own by 1914. She'd been working the same job since she was 19, and now at the age of 27, she was restless and looking for adventure. She soon found it when in 1921, she joined, on a whim, a hiking trip being led by the Colorado Mountain Club, a popular nonprofit mountaineering organization founding about a decade earlier. The leader of this particular excursion was one of the club's many female members, Ethel Murphy. Their destination was Beaver Brook Trail, just west of Golden. The trip was nearly ruined by a surprise spring blizzard on April 24th, in which heavy rains froze and became driving snow. Even with the horrible weather, it seemed to awaken something in young Mary Cronin. She became a regular guest on CMC-led hikes, and by the end of the year, she was a full-fledged member. On October 21st, she joined an ambitious hike that would change the course of her life. A climb of the Never Summer Range, led by Agnes Vale. Vale was already well-known around Colorado at this point. She was one of many women in the Colorado Mountain Club. She frequently took on dangerous hikes, blazing new trails up treacherous mountainsides as a scout for the club, and her life's goal was to become a member of the exclusive 14,000 Footers Club. The list of people who had climbed all of Colorado's 14ers, mountains which exceed 14,000 feet in elevation. This club was a small one, including only a handful of men and no women. Agnes wanted to be the first. On the August 1929 trip, she led a small group up the Never Summer Range and to the summit of Long's Peak. This was Mary Cronin's first 14er and the first expedition she went on led by Vale. The two would become fast friends Vale's ambition seemed to be contagious. She quickly conceived Cronin to join her on her crusade to summit all of Colorado's 14ers. Over the next three years, Agnes Vale and Mary Cronin went on an epic journey of peak climbing. They traveled all across the state, from Telluride to San Luis to Leadville summiting one mountain after the next. By the end of 1924, Cronin had reached the peaks of 23 new 14ers, while Vale had reached 21. Vale was repeatedly drawn back to Long's Peak. The mountain's east face is one of the most dangerous and steep climbs in the Colorado Rockies. Vale and Cronin climbed it twice together in 1924, and as summer ended, Vale returned to Long's Peak again, this time with Walter Keener. They attempted to scale the mountain's dangerous east face twice that failed, both times. 
This didn't detour Vail, who quickly vowed to make her first winter climb of the mountain. And so she and Keener returned in January of 1925 to make one more attempt. This time they succeeded. On January 12th, they reached the summit and turned to begin the descent back down the way they had come. But the mountain was not done with them. An unexpected snowstorm blew in, trapping Vale and Keener in an area without shelter or easy exit. Keener managed to escape and return with a rescue party, but Vale never made it back down alive. Sadly, she froze to death, waiting for help. There is now a shelter built on Long's Peak in memory of Agnes Vale. Cronin responded to the loss of her friend by practically throwing herself into mountaineering. The year Vale died, Cronin tackled five new 14ers, all within spinning distance of each other. She climbed all five of them in less than three days and then reclimbed two others on her way home, just to prove a point. The next year, in 1926, Cronin became a member of the CMC Board of Directors. And after that, she was even more active in the club. She led many trips every year, both for members and guests, still finding time in between to steadily summit more and more 14ers. Her progress was slower without her friend Agnes, but she managed to get a few more every year. And in the fall of 1931, she became the first woman to summit Lone Eagle Peak. Finally, in 1934, Cronin finished her mission. She climbed her last four peaks that summer, Mount Albert, San Luis Peak, Mount Oxford, and Mount Belford. With this accomplishment, she finished the mission Agnes Vale had started more than a decade earlier. Mary Cronin summited all 53 of Colorado's 14ers at the time in only 12 years. And she remained active as a CMC leader for many years. In 1939, when her accounting job transferred from Denver to Nebraska and then to Texas, she still maintained her membership for decades, despite living outside Colorado and having no mountains to climb. Mary Cronin died on March 22, 1982, at the age of 88. And a peak in the Sawatch Range of Colorado now honors her achievement, named Cronin Peak. Right. So her grave should be right over here. But it is a beautiful day out. And we're supposed to get snow tomorrow. So here is her headstone. Here. You can see Mary A. Cronin, April 1st, 1893 to March 22nd, 1982. And then also her father, Daniel, 1855 to 1928. And then it looked like she had a few sisters. So there's Margaret, who you see was only four years when she passed. And another little, little sister, Henrietta, who sadly died at age four days. And I tried to look up some more info about her mother and I couldn't find anything so I'm not sure where her mother is buried or what her name was but this is Mary and her two younger sisters that died very young and her father Daniel and her friend um, Agnes Vale who died on Long's Peak is actually buried here too. So I'm gonna go over there and show you her grave as well. So 
rest in peace, Mary. And here is the grave of Agnes Vale. Let me see, Agnes Wolcott Vale, 1890 to 1925. And she's buried here with her parents, Harriet and Frederick. So another amazing mountain climber that uh, was best friends and mentor to Mary Cronin. Hope you enjoyed that video and getting to see the graves of Mary Cronin and Agnes Vale. Please like and subscribe for some more videos and I'll see you at the next grave. Thanks.